One of the world's oldest towns now lies under water. The town of Hasankeyev in Turkey's southeastern corner is rich with history. It offers scholars a window into 12,000 years of human occupation by the construction. But the construction of a controversial dam erased the town's bustling life. And now Turkey sees a revival in this submerged tourist town. Here's a detailed report. The small town of Hasankeyev is considered a jewel by archaeologists. Located on the Tigris River in southeastern Turkey, the town has barely changed over centuries. It was once a popular stopover on the Silk Road trade route. Hasankeyev witnessed minimal development between the 17th and 19th centuries. Its residents were a blend of Arab, Kurdish and Turkish descent. Hasankeyev offered a crucial glimpse into 12,000 years of human occupation. And now, it is a town underwater. Ever since the Turkish government activated the hydroelectric Elisu Dam on the Tigris River, waters have overflown into abandoned neighborhoods and shops. While Turkish President Erdogan had hailed the Elisu Dam as a magnificent project aimed at bringing electricity to an underdeveloped region, activists believe that precious history could be lost as the town goes underwater. Not to forget the environmental repercussions. And the once popular tourist destination has now become a ghost town. The project is really great, but the reality is that we have water problems, really serious water problems, electric problems, infrastructure problems, the streets are all. You must have seen you cannot walk on them because of stones and pits. The sewers are blocked. We are asking the officials to fix this. There are many people who came to see Hasan Kaif before it was underwater. They wanted to see it before this happened. We hope that after it is now underwater, people will come to see it the way it is now. But after seeing the way it is now, I wonder, will they find what they are looking for? For example, there is Halfeti in Urfa. The minaret is underwater. The historical houses are underwater. But you can't see the historical structures in the water here because the water is murky and you can't see anything. This is a vast expanse of an artificial lake which swallowed this historic town. And now the government wants to bring tourism back to Hassan Cave by introducing boat rides, jet skiing and paragliding on this artificial lake. A few remnants of Hassan Cave's rich heritage, such as a 1600-ton Artuklu Hammam bathhouse and a museum, have survived. Yet with coronavirus killing tourism prospects, hopes of a revival remain slim. There is no reason for people to come here. If after destroying this place you wait for tourists, I believe it is foolishness. They won't come. And they would be right not to come. I agree with that. Hassan Kaif has a 12,000 year old history. If there is no history left, there is no sense in coming here. Even as construction in this ancient town gets off to a creaky start, it is unclear if Hassan Kaif will regain its lost glory. And the loss of Hassan Kaif could very well be the loss of a crucial chapter in our history. Bureau Report, we on. World is one.